Hey my beautiful Libra gang, what's happening, what's crack a and what's poppin' baby? It's your boy for Cancer Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your mid-May, 15th through the 31st, mid-month air reading. I hope you guys are well, and if so, let me know down in the comments down below. As always, these readings are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message, and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, you're more than welcome to. All that information is going to be linked down in the description box down below. So Libra, how are you? Good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your day. In regards to these mid-months, they are going to be more quick and to the point. So let's get on into it, Libra, and see what we got going on. Message for Team Libra. Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus. Throughout mid-May, 15th through the 31st. What do we got coming through for Team Libra here? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus. Throughout mid-May, 15th through the 31st all right my libras let's go ahead and get one more shuffle and we'll take a look here and see what we got going on baby hopefully we got ourselves some pretty fantastic stuff let's take a look all right libra overall energy for you guys here is showing up as the page of cups you can be connecting possibly here with a water sign a cancer pisces or scorpio your current energy we got here the wheel of fortune person you're dealing with we got here the eight of pentacles and then the outcome that's present for you is showing up as the eight of swords so libras looking at the energy coming through for y'all so far page of cups to the wheel of fortune that's a big change that's a big change going from receiving a little bit of love into an abundance of love is incredibly different <laughs> than just receiving breadcrumbs. I think that you guys were in a situation where you were connecting with somebody who was offering a lot of breadcrumbs. They were not giving you enough. They weren't giving you a whole chicken cutlet, okay? They were giving you the breadcrumbs, which still tastes good, but not as good as the whole damn thing. So based on who you were connecting with, somebody here was shorting you, somebody here was giving you breadcrumbs. Now, moving forward into mid-May, there seems to be like something is changing. Looking at your overall energy was your page of cups, your current energy, wheel of fortune. That's a big difference. Instead of having just the breadcrumbs, you're getting the whole damn chicken cutlet. You're getting everything that you wanted. You're getting the whole thing. And that's because whoever you're connecting with here, Libra, Eight of Pentacles, has decided to put more work into this connection. They've decided to put more work into you. They're realizing, okay, I was not enough for you. I was not giving you enough. I was not being enough and giving all and giving my all and giving my heart, but I wanna do that now. So that's how your person's coming off, okay? And looking at the outcome that's present, we have here the Eight of Swords. It worries you and it terrifies you because you don't know what to believe and you don't know if it's true. You're like, I don't know if this person's truly changed. I don't know if this person is willing to actually be everything that I need them to be. I don't know if this person is somebody I can trust. All right, let's start clarifying some stuff. First things first, what's up with the Page of Cups? Why is that the overall energy? And we got here the Nine of Cups and the Sun card. So the person you're dealing with in the past, they really felt like what they were giving you was everything. They felt like they gave you um, as much as they could. They made you happy, but... It really feels to me like this individual was just not a person who went above and beyond. It feels to me like they barely did the bare minimum. You weren't feeling loved. You weren't feeling cared for. You weren't feeling special or important, especially when it came towards this romantic connection. What changed? What's up with the Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune showing up as the current energy? And we have here the High Priestess. And we also have here the Four of Cups. Libra, by... Walking away from this person when you realized that you deserved better. When you walked away from this person, immediately they started to feel left out. They started to miss you, Four of Cups, and they started to really think about the relationship at hand and how they treated you. You know, the High Priestess card is a card of intuition. It almost feels to me like by you walking away from this person, it gave them so much space for them to actually think and replay how the relationship was between the two of you. I think they started to notice that they weren't giving you enough love and attention that you deserve to have. They wouldn't even, you know, take you out on dates like you really deserve to be taken out on dates. You know, it feels to me like they just did less than the bare minimum for you. And at the end of the day, it didn't make you feel important. It didn't make you feel special. It didn't make you feel loved. And in every romantic relationship, every partner deserves to feel validated, respected, loved, cherished, and special. 
In every romantic relationship, people deserve that. And you didn't feel that. So by isolating yourself from this person, they started to replay their behavior and how they treated you. And they started to realize, holy crap, I was giving Libra breadcrumbs when they should have had the whole chicken cutlet, you know? So they realized their mistakes here. All right, Libra, so. Oh, and also the magician came out, so they're trying to manifest you back. So yeah, this is gonna be a situation where somebody's gonna try to reconcile with you, all right? So Libra, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over who you're dealing with. I'll take a look at how they feel towards you and what's going on with them throughout mid-May. Then I'll take a look and see how you feel towards them, what's going on with you throughout mid-May. We'll see where energies align, and then we'll see the outcome, okay? Now, in regards to the person Libra's dealing with, how does this person feel towards Libra? And what is going on with this individual throughout mid-May 2021? How does the person that Libra is dealing with feel towards Libra? And what is going on with this individual throughout May 15th through the 31st? First card out, 10 of cups. So looking at this person's feelings, they're like, Libra, you are my everything. You put your all into me. You put your 100 into the relationship. And I'm sorry for taking that for granted. I think that that is exactly how your person's feeling. You put everything into me and I'm sorry for taking that for granted. You know, they feel like they definitely did take it for granted and they, they really want to apologize here too. I mean, looking at the 10 of pentacles, they believe that they could offer you more stability, right? Because that's their feelings here. So they believe that they could offer you more love, more stability, more security. They can make you feel like the happiest person in the world, the happiest Libra in the world. So your person here showing up like, I've done a 180, I've completely changed. I'm ready to give you my all. I'm out here waiting for you, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is also a card that represents, you know, somebody being single. So the person you're dealing with here is saying, I'm not dating anybody else. I'm not looking to date anybody else. I'm going to be right here waiting for you. And if you do so return, I'm going to commit to you and only you for eternity. For some of you guys, this person wants to get married. Okay, we got here Five of Wands and we also got here Nine of Swords. So looking at the energy so far with the person you're dealing with, they're so frustrated with themselves. I think they're so upset with themselves in the ways that they treated you. They're also very stressed out right now because they know that the chance of getting a second chance with you is incredibly low. They know that the chance of the two of you reconciling is not at an all-time high. It's definitely at an all-time low. So with your person here, they're scared and they're really angry with themselves in the ways that they've treated you, okay? And keeping, you know, keep in mind, I'm not sure about treatment here. I don't know if this person cheated on you in the past. I don't know if this person was just, you know, a breadcrumber where they didn't give you enough, but it definitely feels to me like there's more to the story than I've uncovered, but keep in mind that's your business, right? So either way, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, I wanna give you the best environment I can. I wanna love you, I wanna support you, I wanna nurture you. I don't want you to ever second guess me or second guess this relationship. I wanna be here with you and I want to reconcile, okay? I wanna be here for you, I wanna commit to you. And for some of you, the Hierophant, I wanna marry you, okay? Uh, moving forward with that though, five of wands, nine of swords, they know the reality of the situation. They know that it's gonna be a really, really low chance of getting back together with you, so it stresses them out. All right, in regards to what's going on with them throughout mid-May 15th through the 31st, let's take a look. What do we have? We have here the Fool card, we have here the Lovers, and then we have here the Tower. Based on what's going on with them moving through mid-May is I definitely feel like they're really hoping that you'll give them a second chance, but they are replaying the relationship they had with you over and over and over again. Like this person is awake. They realize that they messed up bad. You know, the tower card is a massive realization. This person realizes I messed up bad. I lost the person that I truly loved. And I lost the person who truly loved me, the person who truly cared about me. You know, they're recognizing the significance and the importance of how much work you put into them and how much you genuinely care for them. And uh, they're kind of dwelling on that here. They're like, wow, I really lost Libra. And I really hope that I could have a second chance at having a new beginning with them. So I kind of feel like ultimately Libra, they're gonna explain to you that they want to get back together with you and that they could be your everything, they can be your all. They're gonna tell you their feelings. But at the same time too, they know that there is a low chance that you'll actually give, you know, accept them back. And on top of it as well, you know, they're really dwelling here throughout the rest of the month of like, fuck, I wish I didn't mess up. I wish that I just appreciated what was right in front of me, okay? All right, baby. So in regards to what's going on with Libra, how does Libra feel towards the person they're dealing with? First things first, you had a 
Hangman card come out, so you definitely feel very stuck in making any decisions, but let's take a deeper look. So how does Libra feel towards the person they're dealing with? And what is going on with Libra throughout mid-May 2021? How does Libra feel towards the person they're dealing with? And what is going on with Libra throughout mid-May 2021? So the first card out was the Hangman. Next card out is the Two of Swords. Then we also have here the Chariot. All right, we have here the Three of Cups. And then lastly, we got here the Knight of Pentacles. I think that the Chariot to the Three of Cups is the energy of I am beyond in a place of wanting to reconcile because I've moved past the point of where reconciliation was an option. I think a lot of you Libras feel like reconciliation is out of the picture for you. You're like, there was so much time that you had to be able to make things right, especially after we broke up. There was so much time that you had to really change as a person throughout the entire relationship. So you kind of feel like reconciliation Libra is off the table. Too much time has passed. You've moved on from the idea of getting back together with this person and you've made peace with not being involved with them. I mean, the hangman card to the two of swords is it's you feeling completely undecided, but at the same time, completely decided as well. Because granted, when this person says that they can be your everything and that they can work on this and that they can, you know, be a part of your life again, your heart, in a way, is happy to hear that. But logically, you're not happy to hear that because you've done so much work to be able to move on from them in the first place. And you know that it's in your best interest to not accept this person back. I mean, with the Knight of Pentacles here at the bottom, the last card that I pulled, it would have to be a very slow and steady time for this person to prove their worth to you, essentially. I think what you're saying here, Libra, is like, look, at the end of the day, if we're going to rebuild this, it's going to take a long time. And you're going to have to show me and you're going to have to get me to trust you again. And you're going to have to, you know, put in as much work as you can and give it your all. But either way, even with the Knight of Pentacles being there, Libra, I still don't feel like you're on the brink of accepting this. I still think that you're not interested, you know, because you feel like the ship has sailed for reconciliation. So in your case here, Libra, I think that the ship has sailed. I think that most of you are going to ignore this person when they want to reconcile. But if there is a slight chance of you accepting them back, it's going to take a long time before you could forgive them and before you can give them the chance they're looking for. All right. In regards to what's going on with Libra throughout mid-May 2021, let's have a look. And what do we got? We got here the Two of Wands. We got here the Page of Pentacles. And then we got here the Temperance card. Yeah, in regards to these energies, Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Temperance card. I think this is just talking about the fact that you made peace, that you and this person are no longer together. And I also think too that there's another option in the mix. Libra, if you haven't met somebody new already, or if you're talking to somebody new, that definitely is making the decision a lot easier for you in regards to not reconciling with this person. So just throwing this out here, some of you Libras may have a new connection in your life and that's why you're not taking your ex back, so your ex back over here. But if you don't have a new connection in your life right now, it actually feels to me like a new connection is coming in. So just throwing this out here, Libra, there may be somebody new stepping in that actually helps you sway this decision. You know, it helps you realize, I don't want to get back together with this person. I want to go to the new person. So just throwing that out there as well. There can be somebody new coming in for you in the second half of May. So if you're not in a relationship or if you're not talking to somebody already, you might actually meet somebody new in mid-May while your ex is here trying to get back together with you. Okay, and it's going to make your decision easier here to not give in to your ex and to pursue the new connection. The thing I got to say, guys, is I do feel like your ex is coming from a genuine place. I know that a lot of you labors are like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care if they're coming from a genuine place. I went through enough and you have every right to not get back together with them. You have every right to be single or to enjoy a new connection. I'm just saying, though, as far as how their energy feels. It feels genuine, but I also heard in my head for how long. That's what it comes down to because people can change, but people have roots and how long are they willing to change? Are they willing to completely transform? Are they committed to completely transform or are they changing to complete some sort of goal and then go right back to their roots? That's the scary part. So I see where you guys are coming from, okay? All right, baby, in regards to where energies are aligning between Libra and the person they're dealing, 
with throughout mid-May 2021 where energy is aligning. We got here the Queen of Cups, we got here the Seven of Cups, and then we got here the Ace of Pentacles. So Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Libra, I think you're going to be looking at your options on this one, okay? You're going to be looking for new people and new connections. You're not going to be giving this person the time of day that they want. So you won't be reconciling with them. I see a lot of you guys taking new opportunities to talk to new people in your life. So you will be shutting down your past here, all right? So that's what it looks like for the majority of y'all in regards to the outcome between Libra and their ex over here throughout mid-May. What is the overall outcome? And what do we got? We got here the Ten of Wands, the Six of Cups, and then the Page of Swords. I did drop a couple cards back there, but they weren't the ones I was gonna pull, so don't worry about it if any of y'all saw cards fly. Uh, looking at the outcome that's present, Ten of Wands, Six of Cups, you're tired of being burdened by your past. So with that being said, you're ready to release it. In a way, Libra, this person coming back towards you was like the final straw that broke the camel's back. It was like the one last moment of clarity that you needed in order to truly release this person. I kind of feel like by them showing you and telling you that they would give you everything almost made you realize that I don't want everything from you. I want that from someone else. I think that that was something that you needed in a sense. So by this person saying, I want to give you my everything, I think in a way, Libra, it made you realize not only am I going to give myself everything, but somebody else in my future will as well. So I think it almost pushed you in the direction of not only realizing that you don't want this person anymore, but it helped you release your past more, okay? So in a way, it is kind of a win for you because it helped you move on um, by this person coming back. Like I said, you know, there's a very small chance that some of you guys may forgive this person, but if you are going to reconcile with them, it's going to be very slow and steady. It's going to take you a while to be vulnerable with them again, to open up to them again, to trust them again. This person's going to have to do some serious work if you're going to reconcile with them. But I do feel for the majority of you Libras, if you haven't met somebody already, you're going to be meeting somebody soon, probably mid-May, early June, and you are going to be looking towards your future with somebody new. I think most of you Libras are going to take this moment as a last moment of clarity that helped you completely and fully move forward. Okay. All right, Libra. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your May 2021 guys, and I will catch you all in your next video. Much love Libra and have yourselves a good one. Peace.